you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them. Terrify them. Terrify them. With the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Good day ladies and gents, my name is Hyozo and I'm Disgusting. It's a new day and a new way for woke and DEI companies to try to impose control over game developers. The topic of today is a Chinese game by the name of Black Myth Wukong, a game that I am not familiar with and I have not seen before even though a first trailer was out several months ago came across this game while browsing through X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, and seeing a post by Grums and then by some other members of the website. And they talked about a potentially $7 million shakedown, as Grums call it, from the company Sweet Baby Inc. If you know about Sweet Baby Inc, you know that they're a bit of infamous with their tactics to providing consultation to game developers. And by consultation, I mean insert diverse politics into the game no matter what. Just like their CEO, Kim Belair, explained in an interview that has been circulating in on the webs. And the news is actually encouraging because as of the latest news, it would seem that the game developer who goes by the name Game Science a Chinese company which is based in China, has refused to fall down and give in to the demands of Sweet Baby Inc. And for that, they're of course slandered viciously. Now the first news story that I actually came across was from IGN, which was reposted very actively on uh, Twitter. The title is How Black Myth Wukong Developers' History of Sexism is Complicating Its Journey to the West. And the article mentions uh, several quoted statements from anonymous women in the gaming industry there, or women who are familiar with gaming, as if that's not vague enough for you. And of course, it failed to mention key sources for a lot of their information. The interesting thing is that this article is way before the internet caught wind of the controversy behind the Sweet Baby Inc's involvement in the company's development of the game, which makes it seem like it was written just to sow the seeds and lay out the ground for the upcoming events that lead up to this controversy and this video. I'm not going to read the article in this video because there are some things that are a bit more important in my opinion that we need to focus on as when we talk about this topic. Apart from Grum's retweets of the story, the original post from Pirate Nation that apparently sparked in a way the whole conversation is that the Chinese media Black Meat Wukong refused to be extorted $7 million by Sweet Baby Inc. Kudos to the company by the way. So some of the things that I discovered Apart from this topic and this article and this tweet that that explains that the reason why the team behind Black Myth Wukong has been subjected to persistent sexist attacks and slander since their first promotional video is because they have consistently refused political correctness guidance and rejected the extortion guidance fees for millions of dollars demanded by these political correctness teams. This as much as I can uh, make out of it, is a translation of an original tweet which apparently comes from one of the people who is connected to the game company. You you can see that even Hideo Kojima praised the style and the art style and I actually watched the trailer because I was not at all as like I didn't know about the game at all during these months. I haven't seen the first trailer and I see that six days ago the trailer, the gameplay trailer announced and I watched the video and the game looks amazing just in and by itself regardless of what it's connected to. The game looks amazing, it looks authentic, it looks very nice, it was received well as if you can determine that from likes and dislikes. It has something like 
5.7 thousand likes and 60 dislikes and it just the feel of the game is that it is the game and it is meant to be played and enjoyed without inserting anything unnecessary which kudos to the game company for not falling down that rabbit hole but the more interesting thing that was posted was by asmongold who posted a video several hours ago which had context on the ign article and i wanted to show this to you here because the core of that article that we just saw was translated tweets from the game company who, which are in chinese and the translation almost depicted them as very scandalous very sexist and very misogynistic tweets and asmongold actually has devs behind black it. myth wukong as some sexist freaks because of some of their employees social media posts the yeah you can you can see that this is this is the translation in the article the experience is different from what i imagined but i've covered the bottom half with my hand it's still possible to jerk off which even if you are a journalist you would know that the company wouldn't you should know at least that a company wouldn't post something like that when they're promoting their games. I mean, you have to be either really, really stupid or really, really into I must slander for the sake of everything and I must do this and I don't care how stupid it looks because it does look stupid. Even without knowing that this is a mistranslation, I would still doubt that this was actually written. Uh, because if you're a game developer and you would want to present something to the world that you have done and let's say in this case from what I can gather presenting some creature you wouldn't write something like this at least you wouldn't write it in your own language and then what happens in translation is another thing completely however anyone with two brain cells who are active in their head will know that this is not what it's supposed to be translated and probably they're going to make the effort and translate it themselves or search for other sources but anyways article cites one of their artists who basically did the still wood meme about this monster the problem yeah. is that this game journalist either by sheer incompetence or malice exactly completely mistranslated all of these posts and added exactly. words to them in the most uncharitable way possible and this is nothing compared to the most egregious mistranslation after one of the now the, the it goes even even better like better as in more and more laughable as you can see that it just started i want to expand my circle and hire more people get licked until i can't get an erection now this first of all it doesn't make sense but this is what such companies are using to bait certain people and to just do a shock value because people are so easily triggered in these in these times that you can, you can get triggered by a simple article headline even even if the article is absolutely nowhere near as cringe or offensive or even doesn't have anything to do with the article head this has happened before but they can trigger people very very easily and they, in this case they can guide people's opinions and there are a lot of people who still follow these mainstream articles and their opinions are based on them even if they haven't even read the article itself but back to the main topic the extortion that was allegedly tried by sweet baby ink is just another proof of what i have said in several of my previous videos in the past few days is that these companies will pay and will give money to, to a lot of media franchises for the sheer purpose of controlling language they know that if the company accepts and caters to their outrageous demands the the game or the movie or the tv series will probably be a failure and it will lose money but they don't care because companies like sweet baby inc and the other companies that i've vaguely mentioned they have the money to do that because they have a lot of other businesses that bring them in a lot of profit and they use those money to just fuel this campaign of wokeness that spreads like a virus and infects more and more people for the sheer purpose of being able to control people you only need to watch the video about the teacher who sparked the debate regarding jk rowling's harry potter with the student and who was subsequently fired from their job for sparking that debate you notice that unless challenged intellectually people will not think and will just 
follow the opinion that someone else told them or that has been being jammed by the media into their heads and again kudos to the game company for not bending the knee i will watch and i will check out black myth because i first of all i enjoyed watching the trailer it seems cool but i also want to support a game that has been done for entertainment for the player for the consumer a game that by any merit and from everything i've seen currently has been done with the sheer purpose of bringing you entertainment value without any woke forced dei agendas being crammed down your throat just so you can feel bad or whatever and the more and more companies that go like that the more and more companies that elevate themselves through the consumer satisfaction will eventually win and will overtake this woke agenda that has been plaguing the industries all around the world and i hope that this happens sooner than later and i hope that we are finally seeing the crumbling towers of woke crashing down on the ground and just rotting away into oblivion and that's all i'm going to say on the matter thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like leave a comment tell me what you think if you enjoy my content subscribe follow me on my socials if you can and have the desire support me on my patreon and let's bring a good community together thank you very much see you cheers and stay fresh